doing our BoxyCharm unboxing video. This is the December box. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you open it up, it says makeup on point. It's got this card in it this month. Looks like we have five items and they are all full size. First thing I see in here is an IBY Beauty. Um, it is a, I believe this is an eyeshadow pencil, but let's make sure. Yes, it is an, eye an eyeshadow pencil. I mean an eyeliner, sorry. That's what I meant. Um, it's $14. It's full size. It is a car contour and eyeliner that glides on and makes your eyes come to life. Um, it's water resistant, offering a smooth application without pulling on the sensitive eye area. So it is green. It's in the shade Olive Pearl. Um, it is a pencil. It's very creamy and it's pretty pigmented as you can see there. So I actually really like that shade. Then the next thing I see is this Ofra liquid, long lasting liquid lipstick. I really like the Of. Ofra liquid lipsticks. I have a couple of them. Um, they're probably maybe they probably actually are my favorite formula. Um, they're long lasting and I really like the way they go on and apply. Um, I don't know about this color. Um, it's probably not something I would normally wear. Definitely not something I would usually go for. Um, I'll see how I like it. It might be something I would give away, but um, that is one swipe, so it's very pigmented, um, and it is very pretty, but just maybe not for my liking on myself. Um, but I do really like the Ofra, and it is normally runs for $19.90. Then the next thing I see in here is a BH uh, Beauty For Real Lip Revival it is a exfoliating hydrating lip scrub. This I'm excited to try. Um, let's see, where is it at? It is normally $14. Smells really, really nice. Smells kind of like cinnamon and maybe peppermint, I think. Um, it feels like it has little little sugar scrubs in it so it feels like it would really work pretty well. Um, I like the way that feels. feels very soft. Um, so it feels like a good like lip exfoliator. It won't tear up your lips too much. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. Then the next thing I see in here is in some bubble wrap. So let's get this out. I'm excited about this. This is another nail polish. They've been having a lot of these Butter London nail polishes in here lately, which I really, really like because I actually really like the formula of these. They last on my nails for about a week, which is really good for me um, because a lot of nail polishes don't last longer than a day. Um, I go to work and type on the keyboard and my nail polish is coming off um, almost completely. So this lasts on my nails um, almost for a, com it does last for a complete week on my nails. Um, and that's without a primer or top coat. So that's really, really good. Um, and this is a $15 product, um, and you can apply one coat of lacquer, let dry, and apply a second coat is what it says. Um, with this, I usually only have to apply one coat though. Some of the darker colors, you might have to apply more, I don't know. Um, the last shade that we got was this light color here, and I only had to apply one coat of it on my nails, and that was fine. Um, I know Butter London does have a um, like a one coat and then you're supposed to apply this and then the top coat and that's supposed to help it last even longer but I don't have that I've just gotten what's come in the boxy charm um, and they last really well on their own but I really like this deep red color especially for the holidays that's really really pretty then the next thing I see in here is a pure cosmetics palette and it retails for $50 so let's open this up so here's this, and there's actually a coupon on the back that says save 25% off your first order of 40 or more. 
So if you like the palette or want to try another product, I guess you could use that. That's kind of nice. Um, the packaging is tin and that side is not wanting to open. Okay. Um, this reminds me almost exactly like the Urban Decay um, palette. Um, let's see. I'll swatch some of these. Um, they feel pretty creamy. They're swatching okay on my finger. Um, they're not, like normally when I would swatch something, it would almost cover up all of my fingerprint, but these are not. Um, that is really, um, like if you can see there, here on the palette, they're really kind of powdery like it's falling off it's not like creamy at all they're just very powdery and kind of leaving a lot of excess powder is falling and kind of making a mess so these definitely don't seem to be very creamy shadows um, I don't know how that means they will apply obviously until I try out the um, palette but they don't swatch like a normal palette I would prefer to use so not that it's bad because I haven't used it so I can't say really yay or nay but I don't really like the way that swatches it's really chunky on my finger and a huge chunk just fell off so I don't know how it would have I feel like it would apply very chunky on your eye as well clean this off but I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's BoxyCharm video for December and I will see you next time. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.